Hello and welcome to the Munetrix online training using GreenShot. This training is being provided to you at no charge as a valued subscriber to Munetrix. At the conclusion of the training, you'll be able to download the GreenShot software, save an image using GreenShot, and insert a GreenShot saved image. First, downloading the GreenShot software. On your internet browser, enter the GreenShot URL www.getgreenshot.org and hit enter. Pictured is the GreenShot homepage. Just click on the download icon. In a few seconds the download process begins and the text box pops up, do you want to run or save this file? Click on the run icon. When this pop-up appears, the publisher could not be verified, click the Run icon. The Welcome to the Setup Wizard pop-up appears. Just follow the simple instructions to proceed until the last pop-up with the Finished icon is clicked. And that's it. In just a couple of minutes, the entire GreenShot operating system is loaded and ready to go. To activate the tool, Right-click on the Start button at the bottom left corner of your computer screen with your mouse and keep the left bottom depressed. Continue holding the left button down and slide your mouse up over the Programs menu. Keeping the left mouse button depressed, roll your mouse over the GreenShot menu. And finally, continuing to hold the left mouse button down, Roll over the green shot icon with the green box. That's it. Green shot is now turned on and ready to use. When green shot is activated, the little green logo will appear in the menu bar at the bottom right corner of your computer. To turn green shot off, left click on the green shot icon, roll your mouse over the exit menu and left click. The green shot logo will disappear and the tool is deactivated. Now that GreenShot is downloaded, saving an image with GreenShot is a piece of cake and only takes a few seconds. So let's get started. With the GreenShot software activated, select the image you want to save and press the print screen button on the top of your keypad. In this case, we want to save the entire Minetrix image showcasing the five years of F65 data. Identify what part of the screen image you want to save. In this case, it's going to be the entire Munetrix F65 data page. Once identified, move your cursor to the top left corner of the image and depress the left button on your mouse. While continuing to hold the left button down, roll your mouse down and to the right. Once the part of the image you want to capture is highlighted in an off-color box, release the left mouse button. By releasing the button, the software kicks in and begins to save the image to your computer. When released, you will hear a click like the sound of a camera lens opening and closing, if you have your sound on. The image you just highlighted is now ready to be saved. The above pop-up box will appear asking you to save your file. Move your cursor over the Save As menu selection. You will then be prompted to save your image to a folder. I already created the folder GreenShot Training and saved the file there. You may want to save the file with an easy to remember name to later assist you in finishing your eVIP template. So we've downloaded the GreenShot software and saved an image. Now the easy part, actually inserting a saved GreenShot image into the Munetrix template. So let's get to it. From the Minetrix eVIP template found in a resource tab on your Minetrix homepage, roll your mouse over the six images until you see the words, Insert a Picture from File. When you click on this image icon, a pop-up will appear asking you to pick a folder from which to select the image you want to insert. In this case, I went to my folder, Greenshot Training, and selected the image, Amik Homepage, which I know contains the five-year F65 data. Double-click on the image name and that specific image will insert itself into the appropriate space on the template. To complete the template, perform the same function for each required image that must be forwarded to the state. 
And remember, the completed template with cover letter and signed state form 4886 must be received by the state treasurer's office before October 1st. So that's it to downloading the software, saving, and inserting an image using GreenShot. Munetrix, helping communities help themselves. If you believe this training was worth your time, please contact Pat at Munetrix.com with suggestions for future training or recommendations to make it better. Your help is appreciated. And thank you for watching.